hey guys what's going on all right here's the deal so i've been asked to feed my videos a few comments even people at the store where i sell these guys how do i start my fire and how do i clean the egg after i'm done cooking this video i'm going to show you the way i do it super easy to do a couple different ways to light it and only one real way easy way to clean it all right you're going to see that in this video next it's going to be fun. I normally say it's going to be fun. It's going to be money. Stick around and, well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be educational. We're going to learn something today on this egg. Don't be afraid of using one. They work excellent. Put out some amazing proteins, good food, good cakes, desserts, pizzas, whatever you want. Don't be scary of them, all right? Want to learn how to light it? Want to learn how to clean it? Check out the video. It's going to be fun. <laughs> All right, let's talk about fuel, what we're going to be using, what you should be using when you cook on any Kamado cooker, really, especially the Big Green Egg, but any cooker, right? Big Green Egg makes their own brand of awesome hickory and oak blend lump charcoal. If you don't know what lump charcoal is, it is real wood that's been burnt down and turned into charcoal, all right? That's real wood, real pieces of wood. Big Green Egg is famous for having a bunch of big, you know, chunks, all right? You do not want to use briquettes, all right? Like, you know, I'm just gonna say, you know, Kingsford is one good famous briquette. Why don't you want to use these? Because these are compressed. They have glues, they have adhesives. Uh, there's just stuff in here that you do not want to get in your egg ceramics, okay? Natural wood, don't use these guys, they're trash. You don't want chemicals in your food, right? You want natural stuff. This is about as natural as you can get, 100% wood, right? With this, you can mix in wood chunks. I'll show you that in a minute. Lump charcoal, the way you want to do it in your Kamado cooker, and Big Green Egg has some. The other brands out there, uh, Rockwood, we sell that at the store as well, Barbecue Outfitters, Jealous Devils, another good brand. But if you have access to Big Green Egg charcoal, that's what you want to use, all right? Let's get this. Uh, let's get this in the cooker and get it lit. All right. So first thing you want to do is open your air vent all the way, and let's get it open on top. Get that charcoal pulled in, so you can see we are cleared out. No ash, no charcoal. What we do is get our charcoal and get it poured in there. Then you get our ash tool and move this stuff around a little bit. Just get it where you want it. And you do not want to go above your air vents here. You can go right up to it. Don't go past it. At least I don't recommend it. You've got to have that airflow to breathe. Now you can put less or more depending on what you want to cook. Okay. Let's uh, show you another method of lighting this thing. All right. Now we got our charcoal in the Kamado cooker in the big green egg. We need to light it. A couple different methods you could use, a couple different ways. It's more user preference, what you like. One way by Big Green Egg is the electric fire starter. All right, basically get this rod, plug it in 110 volt, and you put it inside that charcoal, just like that. Get that in that charcoal, plug it in, wait about 10 minutes or so, heats up, lights that charcoal, take it out, set it aside. Be careful with this thing, because it gets very hot. You could burn yourself, it's kind of dangerous but it works fantastic. Another way is loof lighters. Loof lighter is basically a outrageous uh, hair dryer of sorts, right? Again, plug it in, burns like 1200 degree hot air, something like that. Straight on the coals, two minutes, you got a fire. Easiest way I like to do it is box of fire starters, right? I think we've all heard of these. This brand here is Rutland. Again, we sell this at Barbecue Outfitter, sell it at the store. They come in sheets, square sheets, cubes, bust them off, light one end, there's two here. Stick these in that charcoal, light one end up, wait a few minutes, you got your coals going, all right? Super simple, this is what we're gonna use today. And I'm gonna show you how we get that done, all right? Let's get that now. Okay, okay, now, 
using your fire starters and getting this lit depends on what you're going to cook. All right. If you're going to cook brisket, something you want to low and slow, you only want to use one of these fire starters and it's up to you where you put it. Some people will nudge it right in the middle, light it, and let that heat go around slowly throughout the cook. When I do briskets, I actually like lighting it on one side this way. Light it up, put a little charcoal on top like that, and let it slow burn across. You do that method, you can get an easy 10-12 hour burn. At least that's what I've done, that's what I've worked with. Haven't pushed it any further than that. 10 hours is a good cook on a small bit of charcoal like that. If you're going to cook hot and fast, if you're going to cook chicken like I'm going to cook today, you can use two of these fire starters, right? Drop one here, like so, and we'll drop one on this other side. That way, your heat builds up in the center a lot faster, get more heat across. You could even put a third one if you chose to. That's how we're going to do it today. We're going to go hot and fast cook. Light those up right now and show you how it's done. That. See that light's relatively easy. Right on the other side. Let it light for a little bit. And like I said, I'll put a bigger piece of charcoal on top, kind of build around it. Per se. You don't have to do that. I just like the way it's the way I kind of do it. That's it. Let it go. It should take about oh, 10 minutes or so. You can see it's already kind of going a little bit. I also like to throw a few wood chunks in here and just kind of just place them around. They don't got to go right on top of the fire. They will spread and they will catch. As the fire burns, that one about there, and that's it. Just wait. All right, guys, that is it. That's how we build a fire. Get that in there. Get ready to put some chicken on, and go. Just remember here, from here, maintaining, controlling. It's all done with a lower draft below and the one on top. Control your airflow. All right, so we're done cooking on the egg put out another great meal. Now it's time to clean it, all right? Ashes have cooled, don't do it when it's hot. Super simple, easy to do. Clean this egg. Let's show you how I do that right now. All right, so first thing you gotta do, of course, open your egg. It is completely cooled. This is actually later on, following day, however you decide to do it, and the next time you cook, right? Simply remove your grate. All right, then you're simply gonna take your ash tool, right? Everybody's got one of these, hopefully you do. Stir your coals around, see? Let any ash fall down below. All right, you see that? Now this charcoal that's left behind can be used on your next cook. Simply throw in another layer of coals. Remember not to go just above your vent holes, your intake holes. Creates that oxygen you need for the charcoal. Reuse that charcoal down to the next one. But we need to go down and take the ash that's left on the bottom of the egg. Okay, now remember our egg was shut off when we finished cooking yesterday. Open your vent, get your grate tool again, some sort of bucket catch system. Reach in and scrape out all your ashes. That's it. If you don't want to use the ash tool and you're super clean about it, you can get a shop vac and just vacuum that out right in there and be done with it. That's all there is to cleaning out your egg and getting it ready for the next cook. All right, guys, that's it. Super simple. So you can see how to light your charcoal, how to get it started, a couple different methods you could use. Super easy to do. The deal is be patient, right? This thing slowly comes up to temperature. Don't rush it. Prepare for it. You'd be good to go. Cleaning's a breeze. Reuse that old charcoal. Just scrape those ashes. Let them fall. Scrape that out with a little rake. Or get a shop vac and vacuum it out if you choose to do that. But that's it. All right. That's all I got for now. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.